Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I got a new golf cart. I've I got a, uh, a golf cart. A lot of people's been asking me, if, am I ever going to build one of these? Well, I kind of kind of picked one up. Um, but first, let's go over to Fleet here and show you what I've done with some of the other golf carts. I still have my regular golf cart here. Um, you know, this one right here really hasn't changed any at all. Still got the 23s. They measure 24 and a half. Y'all know that. It's got an extended roof, A to Z stitch seat covers. It's just a good golf cart. Uh, there's candy and stuff on there because I let my kids ride this one here. It still has the silver wolf on it. Y'all have seen that video already. Um, there's nothing else has changed really to this golf cart here. Like I said, not much has changed. It still has the Husky. 48 volt lithium battery in it been thinking about putting it in my other one and just seeing what it will do so that may be a video pretty soon you remember my black limo this is the black limo here I actually uh it does look a lot different and the reason it looks a lot different here is we did the alpha nose on it here we did the alpha front body conversion the alpha rear body conversion i put the seats on it still i had to take the roof off and uh, we took that two inch modified lift out and we did a six inch here. I made a six inch block to go between the lift kit and the frame itself. And if you're wondering about the tires, these are 33 10-18s. These are made by EFX Moto Claws, sitting on 18 inch MSA flash chrome wheels no rubbish at all so i don't have any rubbish i don't it doesn't rub on the frame really or back here any and what i did up here is on this main upper control arm support the rear bolt used to sit right here i actually moved it one and a one and three quarters of an inch forward so i used the old front bumper mount here to mount the front of the uh top of the suspension and by giving it an inch and three quarter forward it actually gave me more room down here as well and if you're wondering we took all those plastic painted pieces i had them wrapped or lined here all of that's been wrapped or lined down there and in the back i had uh my cousin at the body shop uh try to match or the center seat pod here to the front and rear bodies and i think he did a daggum good job Looks a lot better than that rattle can, I'll tell you that much. Look at these hideous lift blocks. It's a six inch lift block. I uh, welded them straight to the regular lift block that came with the lift kit here. It's six inches taller, so it's a 12 inch in the rear. Actually, the, the rear is probably about a 14 or 13 or 14 because it sits a little bit right, and I hate that, but that's what I have for right now. Uh, I put some some link bars on there to keep the axle wrapped to a minimum and uh but i really want to change this i don't care for this setup it rides good i have no axle wrap um nothing really i did this right here just for like a week at the beach but that's what that is and of course i'm rocking the navitas on here i a lot of people asked me if i was going to sell it when i was getting rid of the silver wolf and that would be the last thing i would do but Yep, that's the rear suspension. Not 100% happy with it, but hey, what can you say? We, we can always fix it and do something different later. You can probably tell from the grab bar how it's kind of kind of coming up at an angle in the back. I don't like that. I would be honest with you. I'd rather if this golf cart had a little bit of a squat before it was raked like this right here. But like I said, whatever. Beforehand on this dash here, it just had a regular... Rock Fosgate six and a half. So I upgraded all of those Fosgates to components. So it's got a component set of six and a halfs here in the tweeters. Same as on the other side there. We also did the components here in the rear before it just had the regular Fosgate six and a halfs with the tweeter built in here. I did not like that. So this is a lot easier now. These are not waterproof speakers. Um, these are just regular uh, I think they're Prime by Rockford Fosgate. They're entry level uh, speakers in Rockford Fosgate 10. It's got the amplifier built into the box. So much easier than having to worry about mounting an amplifier, but 
So that's pretty much the update on this golf cart. It doesn't look too bad. I didn't make a build series. We were making it just to go on vacation and uh, I'm happy with it. Like, like I said, there's some things I wanna change, especially in that rear suspension. I really wanna change that. I need to mount these seats here a little higher so to match those seats there. But hey, as a golf cart, it's, it's always gonna be a project. I'm always gonna find something I wanna do with it. So last night I was got off from work, came home, cut grass, got on the computer just for a minute, ran across a free Club Car Villager 8 frame. So this will be an upcoming project here as well. This is not what we got for today, but this is gonna be an upcoming project uh, on the channel uh if i don't sell it so but i don't plan on selling it but you never know when it comes to myself because i like to sell stuff so anyways uh this is just a i want to say it's a 04 maybe ds uh cart here eight passenger i do have a rear body i do have a front body i do have a steering column uh, i do have a rear axle i still have that plum quick motor I still have that all tracks controller I've never opened. We'll go perfectly on this golf cart here. This was a gas powered golf cart. Well, that big lifter one was a gas powered golf cart as well. So really nothing to it, but this is not what we're gonna talk about today. And I'm gonna show you something that I just picked up and uh, we're gonna go over it. Well, boys, this it's gonna be the new channel project. I picked this up this past week. Uh, did some bartering, did some horse trading with a guy. Came out of pocket, a couple of hundred dollars for this thing. And I had a couple of people asking about, are we gonna ever do an easy go on the channel? Well, this is the easy go Cushman uh, golf cart here. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's a 2014, not sure. Like I said, it's beat up and it's rusted. and. This is probably the main reason I don't do easy goes is because of this right here, rust. I hate rust. But for the boys, we're gonna send it on this one. This is the Cushman Hauler Pro. And a couple of things I noticed about this right here, and we'll jump into that right now. First thing that caught my eye was the F and R switch. So I knew I was wanting to do something with that since it was most likely a Sepix built cart. The dash there, beautiful, isn't it? Seat doesn't have any brackets. And then uh, first thing I noticed was, well, it's got six batteries, but then there's another battery over here. And when I got to this place, I pulled the dump bed. There's two more batteries in the back. So this is a 72 volt golf cart. And if you haven't noticed already, it's also an AC golf cart, and this AC motor does not have the uh, part brake on it or the motor brake. It's the Latrica. Actually, that sounds like someone's name, but I won't go there. That'll be for another day. So this is a 72 volt uh, AC motor without the motor brake on here. So we might be able to keep that. Uh, in this right here box is the controller. Thought was pretty cool. This right here is the charger. Be cool if that actually worked. And we're gonna travel that here in a little bit. So the controller actually plugged in here, but that's broke there. So we're gonna see if we're gonna put an extension cord on this right here. But that's gonna be the new project for the channel. Not sure yet if I'm wanting to keep this dump bed here. I've been seeing some things online about people converting these over and doing a rear seat on these right here. And if that's the case, I would probably end up getting rid of my club car president down the road and just keep this right here from my main cart. I can't believe I said that because I'm not really an easy go guy, even though I got started in golf carts on easy goes. So yeah, so that's more of the golf cart there. I kind of like that dump bed, not gonna lie. Another, another main reason, rust. I hate rust. I hate dealing with rust. 
but uh, these old dinosaurs here I don't know if they're any good uh, I think the date code with these are G4 so they at least at least six or seven years old there um, the easy go serial number is L date code is L3014 so this could be a 14 cart I just noticed this bolt here I wonder if we can get to the controller here not sure I think it's a Curtis 1234 if we could get this if we could just keep the motor and replace this stock controller with the Navitas controller that would be like kind of like what I want to do I've heard that you can actually program these stock controllers here through certain dealers but I still want to be able to control it on the fly and it is a 1236 6102 so there's the controller all right boys so on the golf cart here these are the tires that we took off of the other uh the black golf cart those are 215 75 15 bfg all terrains and it'd be nice to be able to put them on here so what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and hook the battery charger up to this or try to hook the battery charger up to it and see if we can get these batteries to take any kind of juice just to be able to get this thing to run a little bit or any at all and i'm gonna just leave it on charge these things remember these batteries are like 2014 2016s i can't remember now but they're old they're four five six years old so let's see what we can do with this thing and let's uh let's put it on charge sorry my garage is uh my shed back here is a mess man that stuff i got all kind of projects i got more projects in time so this looks like the the uh the plug that went into here that was broke off and um it just made a noise all right check this out so I'm pretty sure this is like a battery meter here. I got it looks like warning lights. This looks like hey, it, it may have AC. It looks like it's full charge or half charge or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna leave this just like this right now and uh, see what this will here would do. Say eight or ten hours. See if the batteries charge any at all and uh see if uh, this thing will cut on not sure if it will or not but let's see i'll pick you back up in just a minute not sure what that's about so i don't know anything about this golf cart like i said so hopefully something will go on while it's charging uh, it is in the tow position here yep and i don't have a key for this thing so sure what those went to so these right here must be the the input and output to turn the golf cart on and off so we'll check those out as well so all right guys i'm back it's a lot sooner than i said from looking on the internet this is a battery meter i think that middle one there is like a hundred percent charge this was like 60 or 70 percent something like that uh, that squiggly line just means there's power input and these two line these two uh, exclamation things are like a warning so like something might be wrong with it so uh, this has charged some and the charger itself feels warm um, but like I mentioned earlier I was gonna leave it on charge for eight hours I'm, I'm I'm curious to know if this thing will run yet so let's uh, I'll set the camera down and uh, plug it up and see what we can come up with. So I went ahead and just got a fuse and I'm going to just use this fuse as kind of like something to hold it. I uh, scared a piece of wire would just fall out the terminals there. Oh, I see 
see something here. So we have light. So we do have light inside of this gauge. I'm not sure if the light came on when I plugged the fuse in or when I turned the uh, turn run switch on, not sure. I'm gonna set this thing up and let's see if this thing will move at all. six or seven years old and I got impatient on the whole charging process so it's only got like an hour of charge on it um, that gives me uh, enough momentum to less hey let's go ahead and order try to order some parts for this thing so uh, until next time guys that's gonna be the video on this the next video we're gonna try to dig in and start replacing some parts so We'll see you guys on that one. So one of the things I like about this channel, it's not dedicated just to golf carts. It's not dedicated just to building things. Um, when I had my, when I started this channel a long time ago, I wanted it to be like a neutral channel where I could do just about anything. Well, I haven't introduced you guys yet, but this is my 85 C10. I bought this trucker right here back in 2014. I sold it to my cousin. I bought it back from him because I told him, I said, if you ever go to get rid of it, let me know before you do and I want to buy it back. And it's kind of rough in some spots. I just love this old truck. My wife loves this old truck. My daughter loves it. My kids love it. They don't want me to get rid of it, but I'm not sure what I should do with it yet. I know I want to get it painted. I want to lower it down, put some wheels on it, stuff like that. Do you guys want to see content of that? Let me know. Anyways, this is the old truck here. The truck started out with a uh, 4.3 or V6. It's got a turbo 400 in it. It had two 73s in the rear. Uh, now it's just got a little 350 board over. It's got a little cam in it, 650. Long tube headers. Sounds good. The sound goes with this truck, if you ask me. But is this something y'all would like to see on the channel? If so, I'll start making videos of this and uh, just so we can start with the progress on this thing. Just let me know, guys. I am not a mechanic at all, but as a DIYer, uh, I like to tinker. Missing the door panels missing the dash it was all cracked up i just threw it away it's got the seat in it so i've got some history with this old truck but i love it not sure if i should put that lq4 in here or not i love the way this right here sounds it's not going to be a show truck it's not going to be a a driver just something to bust around town a couple times in got a pretty good dent gouge there but yeah what should we do with this truck guys should we uh, make it for the channel or not Sorry, that's just a redneck in me. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch y'all next time.
Great work too.